Prague for her return. So that's our top six. Strong field. Now, of course, we're missing a few names, especially for the Americans. Oh, sorry. Well, it's good to have you back, Sean. It really is. And I know how bad that injury can be. So well done for making it back this far. It's Boulder number one. This is our 3D rendition of it. Now, it's a big jump from the starting holds over and landing on that black volume. And you have to be very precise with the feet. Mm -hmm. Move up to the zone, and then there's another enormous jump coming at the top as well. They also rotated this initial black foothold that they're going to land on, just counterclockwise about, what, 5 to 10 degrees? So it's funny, I saw I see this, and I'm just like, wait, that's not what it looks like. It's yeah. like no, no, it's, it's 10 degrees over, and uh, probably what you need to do, but she needs to go up, up a little more. There was a discussion whether this would be... Oh, oh look at that, though. All the way. <laughs> also, is it going to go that way or the other way? Yeah. I was about to say it might be too hard this first move, but Oriane cruised this. Now the left foot is a nasty foot. She's looking down at it there. It's kind of texture, but then no texture bits on it. It's all stacked together and it's very small. There's a huge jump out to the left hand catch. There you go. And <laughs> it's a big pop for Oriane and Boulder <laughs> one. And we really don't know whether Oriane just was perfect on it or if it's a bit easy. Let's Oops. see. Her mind obviously she's like no I'm doing this as a triple so she was very much right to left and carried the momentum through and then obviously it's the green foothold that stopped all of her momentum you can't really grab any other holds after that but True. you don't need to it's not a slide wait you you're up and you're done yeah right. we, really weird but no I had no idea I'm gonna attempt to that next time right Stasha starts this she's only got 49 seconds she gets into that flow she's almost unstoppable but this might throw her off a little bit And skipping the first hold altogether, and it's also probably a lot harder too, because you know that Oriane did it in less than a minute, or a minute, minute 20. So it's like, oh, she did it in one, two, or three tries. Why can't I do it in, you know, eight to 10? And is it, is it simple? Is it? Yeah, it's a good point. It's almost easier for those coming after Stasha, because they'll think, well, look, it's either doable or it's going to be really difficult. Yeah, it's one exactly. of those bold. Sorry, I was saying, um, she needed to just get over her foot a little bit more. It looked like the foot was stopping. She wasn't actually getting to that zone hold. All right, here is Miho as she starts to swing. And the triple, right, okay, flashing this boulder is very proud. Like, she hasn't done it yet, but even flashing that move. Right, she needs to get that foot on. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly balanced backwards. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Right away. Wow. Wow. Flash on that boulder is uh, in Tesla. But luckily the holds are kept shaded. Ah, right, here she goes again. Needs to get the hand in. She does this time. Yeah. Which is like, used to be staple of the World Cup. Yeah, I'm glad they've changed that up a bit. Now. <laughs> yeah, now they put it as a rest in the middle. I think it's hard, you get so hyped up and then you have to go delicate. There she goes. Just one day. So Futaba swinging in. Jumps up to the start and holds. Nice and easy to start with. Yeah, that was a totally different trajectory. I don't think she quite meant to do that. Just not getting this down. Mm. And it doesn't look like she's going to figure it out in 20 seconds. Last couple of goes, and we'll be taking a bit of energy out of her. This she hasn't really paused much. Um. All right. Well, everyone's been saying the queen is back. She certainly looks like she's back. She's smiling. Oh, and there you go. She does that. So, <laughs> yes, the queen is back. She's still got one move to go though. Works the feet up. And you can see how far her torso went left, right, and just. <laughs> It is, it is little things, and um, it's it's one of those practice ones, and she is phenomenal at those types of moves. And oh, she laughed from the end, yeah. Straight in on that top hold. All right, that's the standings. Jenny Garnbrett, one attempt, one top. So the top two both got flashes. Oriane did it in two goes, and then no one else has got any points yet. That's how things stand. So, Sean, the zone hold here has... Oh, no, it hasn't been adjusted. It's in the correct position. That's good. All right. Well, the zone is on that dish. And we're both saying I'm nasty that a uh, second yellow volume looked. Oof, yeah. Uh, obviously, 
a little run start, maybe a big run if you really want to get up there, but yeah. Basically, they were trying the boulder with it flat against the wall, and it was just slightly too hard, so they need to pop it out like two degrees just to make it possible. Crazy what they have to adapt, isn't it? All right, Oriane, so confident through this slab immediately. Works the feet up. I mean, look, she trains at the Karma Gym in Fontainebleau. Oh. She's pretty good at slab climbing, <laughs> clearly. She's just flashed that. Yeah, it's just important actually to, to get both feet, yeah, like that. So you get to the foothold, because then when you're on the foothold on the left here, you can place your right foot a bit more to, to stand up a little bit better. I'm interested in her shoe choice. They're quite stiff, those. I wonder if she has a softer pair. For the time being, she's doing there good. You go. Or toe. Heel. <sighs> Should work. Yeah, she's gonna have to flick it down, but she does. Out onto the rendition. The last move. Here we go for Stasha. Oh, it goes back. Oh, just to get the left foot higher. Oh, and drops the top. A bit more confident from Stasha. Gets stood up straight away on this attempt. Gradually moves that left foot closer, but balances backwards. Drops the chalk bag. All possible skin from her palm there you expressing. Go. Oh, yeah, you're right, a bit yeah. further down. There you go. A little slip. Would like a quick send. Stretches far to the right with that right foot and puts it a further little down. Bit lower, yeah. Because you do have to get to the hold. You're going to little jump and then just lower it a little. Yeah. Very confident from Miho then. <laughs> yeah, little toe up. Move your feet. Moves super confidently in the last move. She looks down at the zone hold. One jump to go. This is where Stasha fell, though. It is droppable. Checks the foot again and falls. Didn't seem quite confident on that last yeah, move. Could also backfire, too. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Better nice, for there me. You go. Yeah, she's got lots of time, so... Right, will she hesitate? She needs to be... Very confident with this move. That's hard because her left foot's a little. Yeah, there you go. Readjust it. I was gonna say it was a little bit lower. She might be trying oh, to do this trying statically. To do it really slow. Oh. <laughs> right, one last attempt. If she doesn't fall, holds the press. Oh, good. We get to see it one more time. Yeah, she's just got a ball, oh, nearly fell. She's got to just pick a method here. She's got the right foot on, she's gonna jump. Oh, it looks good. Oh. Well, she's stood up. Good, good reach. Casually steps up, really solid so far. Good work from Flavi, really confident. Sticks Ooh. her tongue out and then falls backwards and couldn't stick it that zone hole very bad so feet working across gets the toe carefully locked in it's one of those boulders you feel like you should be holding your breath the whole time much rubber as possible on that right foot pops up and Flav is so close to getting that one already it was it was a good one So here Flabby goes again, looking very confident through this first section, padding yeah. the feet out. Doing those opening moves super well. She looks better now, yeah. Right, here we go. Once more she commits to it. And nice. gets it. Her uh, first really boulder. Top in a first final. First final boulder, yeah. Where your momentum's going. If it's going out or too far to the right, you fall. If it's going up a little bit nicely and you do it. 
Here she goes. She nearly fell off that first move. It was right on the edge, but she kept it together. She's crimping that. Yeah, she's trying to, isn't she? Crazy. Comfortable to zone. She's got to move that left foot up a little bit further, though, perhaps. She's going to pop. Ooh. And then you get to, like, obviously my age, and it's like I had to learn all of the tricks. <laughs> because when I started climbing, you didn't do any of it. And it's it's really interesting to see how good they are on these types of boulders. Like, yeah, Vegetti yeah. comes to mind, obviously, as well. And was, was really bred into those. He's really good at it. You can just see here, just flying through the beginning and getting to the... Smoke a bit too soon. Now, yeah. It's like, well, hang on. You know, I did it a couple of times. Why this time? It's hard. It's I almost want to say she gets to the zone and she's thinking about the last move, and then her foot pops. So it's like, oh, I didn't get there. But uh, again, like she's a fabulous competitor. Come on. Oh, oh, buzzer beater. There we go. go. No, not to be. But we also know she had a pretty nasty toe injury, so this is going to hurt a little bit potentially. She's obviously not going to go until she's fully ready, but it is something to consider as she starts to walk over. What's actually really crazy about the move she just did was uh, her feet were so close to the wall that uh, it was mostly strength, whereas now, down she moved her left foot a lot lower. She needs to find a little toe hook. Yeah, she looked down to the left foot. Oof, a little compression match. Well, she hasn't done this perfectly, but she's making it work. And that's what she needs to do. One jump away. Micro adjustments going on, but she falls. Just too many things moving. Yeah, you're right about that wrap. I hadn't spotted that. So I wonder if she'll do it again or whether it gets in the way as she goes. It's... I think she'll do it the same. She'll just do it better. Yeah. She'll start in the bottom wrap, and as she's pulling up, she flips, and then as long as she stands up, um, it, it can look crazy easy, but that flips it right away, maybe. Oh, it goes back. All right, here we go. Watch that left foot. It's all important. Oh, watch how she climbs this, even when she makes mistakes. I mean, just now she should have bumped into that zone hole, which is incredible to see. Dynamic on the slab. Adjust the left foot, and then this was the bump she did before, <laughs> snatching into a bad zone hold. She'll have another chance of this if she gets it done quick. If she falls, let's see. She wasn't close before. Can she get a bit more height? She might be trying to go a bit. Yeah, I can't figure it. Yeah. As our shot blurs out of focus. Sorry, Anne Berton. Two tops out of two in just three attempts. Stunning from her. Yanni Garnbrett second. Missed the top on the slab. Mihon Nanaka also missed the top, but zones for them. Flavi coming back at them with a the top on boulder two, uh, Futa by Ito struggling a little bit, no top on boulder one, just the zone, and the same with Stashek Geo, who was a bit more frustrated. So, let's have a look at this boulder. Sean, another jump, starting mm -hmm. right. Now that green blocker has mm -hmm. no texture, stops yes. you getting a high toe. Yes, yeah. And uh, the toe obviously just to start, just to be annoying, because you know, toe to start are annoying, and a little bit more full, but it's a different, different story, but... Uh, yeah, into the zone, and then you've got to go back the other way. And it looks like a sort of compression move in the middle, the two black volumes. It's mm. harder to do it like that, although we think the athletes might give that a go. Yeah. So let's have a look at this. Oriane is in the lead. Oh, she catches the toe. You can see that blocker there, the dual tex. Up. Drops in. Now, this is going to be interesting. Has the need to be able to rest? So far, so straightforward. This move. Ah, uh, you could definitely match, though, yeah. So. Yeah, not as hard. But Orient's done this in every single bowl. Needs a top to bumper up the leaderboard. Be then almost thinking about dropping into it, but you're right. Hopefully, she doesn't try to kick that leg back. And again, she lets that pause. Mm hmm Let's have issues with skin sometimes. It has been hot. One, two, three, better. Three, there you go. Yeah. Making that first move look really good now. One, two, three. Ooh, which was high. <laughs> Reverse dunk. I love it. 
here she goes again. She takes this breath, which seems to center herself. It's it's really interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here she goes. She's <laughs> really thinking about this. One, two, two, four. Uh, oh, double. Four. Just jump straight for it. Why not? One, two. Right, left, to the same hold, right away, and then doubled to the zone. <laughs> Unreal, right isn't it? So what's she feeling this time? Again, the pause. Oh, probably her best try. <laughs> the Czech crowd does not need much encouragement to start shouting. They've been brilliant all weekend. Miho goes again. Good. So yeah, nail awesome. the podium. Oh, there you go, you got it. <laughs> all right, Flavi locks in the first move this time. Oof. Here Flavi goes up into the flirting holds. Ooh, good, good, good. Doesn't even need the net, but she stopped a lot of her momentum uh, off the start hold uh, before she let go. Uh, so obviously, yeah, got zone here, and we'll see if she can get to the top. Yeah, she did what Orianne did and tried to get the knee in, oh, but this is a really good go for it. It's good, yeah. And if she sees the heel hook, yeah, there it is. So she should be able to reach the finish from eventually. Don't right, do it. doesn't need to be two dynamic matches. Doing it there like Ariane. It's like they might have previewed together. Right? Indicate where one of the holds are. The climbers can't put on tick marks themselves, as you might do on an outdoor boulder. Hooks in, works her feet out. She's done before. Checks the clock again. That running start pops the right toe in. Good work from her. Yeah, she was actually up really far away from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Good right. start. Oh, she oh. tries to stop. She's missing that. Anyone to really struggle with this start move gets it in now. Oh, <laughs> she enjoyed that. A little bit of showboating as she catches it with the right. Look with at the this. Left yeah, arm straight spins. out. Really cool. And it yeah. looks like a different boulder. Totally different method, but gets the same heel. Yeah. Yeah, and um, should keep it again. There you go. Great, <laughs> great time. All right, well, she keeps in touch. This is going to be huge for Oriane Berton. Her best finish is second. She's done 12 Boulder World Cups. She's got five silver medals, no bronze medals, no gold medals. She'd be the sixth French woman to ever win a Boulder World Cup. So here we go. This is going to be fascinating stuff. Let's have a look at this boulder. Oriane getting massive support. She's smiling out there on the mats as we have one last look at this 3D. Goes from left to right. You've got to catch those holds. Long moves to the zone with heels locked in and then swinging over. Toe hook that blue jib. Back left again. A flatty, a Gaston star move, and then finally the top. Super exciting to see. Oh, wow. You can stop there too. Well, I was curious if this was a 360 campus. It was meant to be a cross, but she's doing it like this. This is not intended beta. She's going a bit wild here. That is definitely not intended beta. <laughs> Something the root setters will be looking at between their fingers. Scary move. Now that's better. She wants to get that toe over. Can't reach it. Oh. Now look. Oof, oof. And this is big for her. And you can see deep breath. Easily into the first hole. Oh no, I made a mistake. She already won. She's already won. That was why she that was why she couldn't believe it. Because she knew she only had to flash zone. She will be uh, this is her first World Cup quick victory. Wow, so we are watching Oriane sort of victory lap here myself. It doesn't really matter. You know, that kind of a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and obviously she's just chilled out a bit and yeah. is doing really well.
up to the zone, gets the heel in. Trying to figure the sequence out, we'll be getting tired though. Can't make this. I don't think she cares anymore, to be perfectly honest. No, I think I think she's done, but <laughs> kicks back in. One last try for Oriane. Out to the crimp. Locks in the toe. She doesn't care. We don't care. A huge reaction from the crowd. Dirt and the sand getting onto the holds. Holds it this time from Stasha. Right, now she needs to unleash the power into the blocked crimp. Gets the toe in. Ideally across. Minute buzzer goes for Stasha. Thumbs pressing in as she matches the smaller of the holds. Comes into the zone. She's been awarded that already. Needs to unlock the top sequence. Yeah, that's that's crazy hard. She's tall too. All right, Miho pulls on. She's in fourth. Uh, straight away, one, two, and see the windmill of the feet and left foot landing there really, really, really well. Yeah, she has a chance on the podium here, so she's going to want to fight hard. Oh, turning to face the crowd in a slow motion windmill and a hand flick. That was strong. Locks in the toe. It'll be on the jib. But now what? <laughs> like now well, what? now you can go up with your right. Oh, she flips it there. I'm trying to yeah, match it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah nice. She's got to release that toe at some point. Matches Miho on a great performance here. Nice, yeah. Double shoulder, no? Oh. All right, last couple of tries. Yeah, 36 seconds to go. Come on, Flavi. Oh, nice, sticks it. Just a bit I more of a so. rest made a difference. See how she does it. Campus goes for the goes for the Superman campus, but right toe in. Here she goes again. Oh, Better. nice! Just like Orianne on the small one gets the zone. Uh, oh, curious. I think it actually was eight tries. Right, she's got, she's going for the one armor. Locks it off, but falls. Presumably has figured out that Orianne's won it, but she did have a long look over towards Orianne then. Just to maybe make sure, just to see. Yeah, it's uh, obviously she just wants to top the boulder, but uh, she might just be curious. Uh, she can only win your first. There you go, 360 oh. Tom Cruise. There you go. <laughs> this is cool. Complete yeah, the, no. yeah, I thought maybe. Yeah, you can't pass out there so you get your heel or toe on, and then your uh, your wrist is in the right position. Gosh, she's read this well, hasn't she? Right, bumps up to the flatty. There you go, there's the double. And you go out again. Ah, she's oh, gonna and top a it. Mega finish. <laughs> well, she deserves every second of that showboating. Well, let's just confirm the results in case you don't know. Oriane Berton, three tops and a zone, beating Ianya on attempts with three tops and a zone. And then Flavi, what a performance from the young French woman. Two tops and a zone gets her a bronze medal in her first Boulder World Cup. Miho Nanaka, Stasha Geo and Futaba Ito rounds out our top six.